So how can I pray for you? I, I want healing, Nigel, but what's my part? How much faith do I need to be healed? Great question. To how be much, healed? Exactly, great question. How much faith do we need to be healed? One word, Lazarus. How much faith did Lazarus have to be healed? He was dead. He didn't have any faith. He'd been dead for four days. Christ, by his word, commanded him to come out. And when we think about that, how much faith do you need to have? You don't need to have any, you've just shown up. So how can I help you to, to visualize that, to come to that place, to understand that? I think probably the best way to do that is to, well, is to ask you a question. And the question would be, in your faith, what do you, what do you need to do to be healed? If this represents your healing, what would you have to do? If it represents my healing, uh -huh. yeah. what, what do I have to do? Um, yeah. Look at it? Yeah. What else? Um, touch it? Yeah. Yes. But there's a better, better way to go. If it represents my healing, what do I do? Hmm. I, ta I take it in. Yes, that's it. Just to take it. That's the key, to receive your healing, to receive it. Our job is to pray for you, your job is to show up. And that's the mystery of faith. And to receive that is, is, the, is the key, to receive. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy to receive your healing. What we've just demonstrated is a small parable in how by faith we can be healed to receive that healing and to know you are worthy to receive that healing. God bless you.